Welcome back, guys, to another episode of How Did We Rate It Food Edition. So, yesterday was Sunday, March 4th, and I had a Midwest showcase, but on my way to the showcase, I stopped at a new restaurant in the Kirkwood area, Honey Pit. So, if you can't figure out what kind of restaurant it is, I'm just going to tell you. It's barbecue, and it is a hot and new restaurant that popped up on my Yelp feed. So, I thought I'd check them out as I was heading to my showcase. So to get me started, when I walk in, it's this open concept, amazingly simple setup that you walk into and their menu is pretty extensive, but it's, it's complex, but simple, I guess is the way to describe it. They offer a wide variety of meats and you can get it in a different styles. So you can get it on platters. You can get it on sandwiches. You can get it in bulk, like, um, piece by piece, depending on what you want, I guess. So after looking through the menu for a few minutes, I decided I was going to get their brisket. And they actually have a sandwich called the brisket cheese steak. And it's just what it sounds like, a cheese steak, but made with brisket and garlic butter. So garlic butter, brisket, Provel cheese, some grilled peppers and grilled onions. And the sandwich was probably about 10 inches long. It, it was actually a really good size sandwich. Then for a side, now because I got a sandwich, I didn't have to get a side. But in order to leave a good enough review, you have to try a little bit of everything, right? So they have a section of hot sides that range from, they have peach baked beans and some peach cobbler and mac and cheese and french fries, you know, some of the standard stuff. But then they have a cold section as well that had their macro slaw and their regular coleslaw, things like that. But I went for something that is a classic barbecue food. Classic, classic dish that you can pretty much pick up anywhere or make anywhere. Cornbread. So they have individually wrapped cornbread pieces that were probably muffin tin size. They probably cooked them in a muffin tin or so. And it's served with honey butter. And for both dishes, I paid less than $15, so not too shabby for price-wise when it comes to barbecue, but the sandwich came out very hot. They make this like fresh, it's the meat's cooking, you know, for hours on end, and it was hot. They wrap it up in a foil wrapper and then put it in a container. So I didn't even eat it right away. I took it with me and ate it after, probably back after about 30 minutes, and I unwrapped it and it was still hot. And that's a fantastic thing when you can have a product that stays warm either while you're eating it or hot even after you've let it sit for a while. Now, flavor wise, this sandwich was on point. The brisket was very tender and kind of fell apart if I, as I pulled it, you know, to get different pieces of it. Um, the garlic butter was very subtle. You could taste it when you ate just the bread, but there wasn't a whole lot of it on there. Um, now, Provel cheese to me is just Provel cheese. When I think Provel cheese, I think Emo's Pizza. Um, and a cheesesteak to me usually has provolone cheese on it. So that's the only thing I probably would have changed about the sandwich. I just would have preferred that kind of meltier cheese that would have just kind of gone along with the cheesesteak theme. But the onions and peppers were both cooked beautifully. They cooked some green peppers that were like perfectly green peppers. Like they were on point. And the sandwich itself was fantastic. I, um also got a side of their Carolina mustard barbecue sauce and was dipping part of the sandwich in it and it was good it was very good um, and then the cornbread itself was very moist and soft my biggest complaint with that though is it was falling apart as I was biting into it like I'm eating it with the butter the honey butter and it's just crumbling like all crumbles so the biggest thing I wish they could have done is made it a little bit more firm. Not take away from the softness and the texture and everything, but just make it a little bit more structured so it could hold together while you're trying to eat it. Because now I'm trying to like dip the honey butter and pick up the little crumb pieces. But the honey butter was probably the star of that dish. There's some honey butters that are very overly sweet because they put too much honey in it. And this wasn't. This was a perfectly balanced blend of honey and butter that gave just enough added sweetness to the cornbread that I wanted to get another one. I wanted to go back and get more. So overall, guys, Honey Pit is definitely something you want to go check out. 
I will be going back a second time. I will probably be taking Antonio and Xavier with me to go back and try Honey Pit. But for my rating for Honey Pit, I am going to give them a four out of five. Now that is very high for me when it comes to barbecue because I'm super picky with barbecue. To me, barbecue is kind of just barbecue. You know, you go to another barbecue spot and you get the same thing. But I like what they're doing. They're, they're offering unique twist on classic dishes by incorporating the barbecue aspect into it. So definitely a new and hot restaurant to go check out. I agree with Yelp on that. So four out of five for Honey Pit, and I will see you guys very soon to do another How Did We Rate It? See you around.